Yo, I'm scared! <laughs> We're at the Goodwill Bands. <laughs> it's been so long since I've been out here. Probably, like, literally a year since I've come to the bins, the outlets, if you will. Um, and I forgot how this works. <laughs> I don't know if I have the capacity. It's storming. It's raining. So I thought a lot of people wouldn't be here, but the parking lot's low-key full. It's a Friday. Aren't the kids supposed to be in school? Like, we're mid-September. Like, I'm nervous. Like, what if I what if I don't have a magic touch? I do love this location, though, because it's smaller. And um, I have found a couple gems here. I have found a couple holy grails. Um, so hopefully it's good. Um, if you don't know me, by the way, I'm Kennedy. Hey. <laughs> I'm a vintage seller. And I also just curate vintage and keep it for myself. Um, but yeah, we are gonna go a little zigging today. Um, I also forgot my fanny pack. I realized that on the way here. Normally I have a fanny pack on that holds like my phone and my keys and all that stuff. I don't have that. I just have on long sleeves because the less I have to touch stuff in there, the better. Um, I am gonna take my wired headphones because you got me messed up if you think I'm about to wear little airpod looking things and have one of those fall in it's over like the bins can have it i'm just gonna throw my case in there too if i bring those in there so we're gonna bring in the wired ones so my headphones are on a leash um i'm just gonna put my like card in my in the back of my phone i guess um i don't know guys i'm let's just see how this goes <laughs> I swear the last time I was here it was a dollar seventy nine, but I could be tripping. One hour later. All right, I think I'm finally acclimatized enough to talk to you guys. Um, I've done one new rotation and then I went through all the old stuff first, um, and I have not a lot in my cart, probably like eight things. I'm just gonna show you those real quick before they bring out a, another rotation. It's pretty quiet in here. The dudes that I used to see all the time, like every single time I came in here are not here today which is kind of nice but there are some new guys and they are like scoping me out and i don't like it i keep feeling like i'm being watched and it's because i am every time i turn to look at who's watching me like they have no shame they're just like and i'm like do you think i'm attractive or do you think i'm a threat like what are we doing here do you recognize me you don't realize it you're trying to figure it out like what is it because the staring is getting weird um, Anyway, they're about to bring out new bins, so let's let's show what I have. Um, first cute little piece is this kid's little Atlanta Braves piece. It's from 1993. It definitely needs a good good wash, but can you see that? Will it focus? Very exciting. He's over here. Let's run through the cart. It's like halfway full. Um, nothing too crazy has been pulled, like no banties or like a penny lane by any means, but a couple really good bread and butter pieces that I'm excited about. Um, we actually just finished a rotation here a second ago and I found some grandma sweaters, which is the perfect season for that right now. Look at this one. world's best grandma and like look at that um like the illustration is just so nostalgic i love it and then i also found this one look at the little bear in the pastel colors very cute love that i also found these union bay shorts will i get them i don't know i do like to shop off season and since shorts are still kind of like in but also out at the same time kind of go in that transition um i have been just collecting them and putting them in a box for early next year when like spring break starts to come around when like shorts and tank tops aren't in the stores yet but people are looking for them i want to already have stuff in my um arsenal so i have been picking up some of these will i get these not sure but i do love union bay 
I did find some Carhartt, but um, they're a little bit more beat up than I would like, so these are definitely going to be thrown back. I spotted this big patch in the pile, and I was just a digging for it. Uh, but eventually I did find it, no one else did, and here they are, just a pair of jorts. Um, these will be put away until next year, but never going to say no to vintage Tommy, like, are you kidding? Found a couple sweaters. This one's, like, super heavy. It's by Gap. I love these little skater boy sweaters, and what I mean that, I, oh my gosh, and what I mean by that is the sweaters that just have, like, the lines smack in the middle, or the ones that kind of just go down the shoulder i don't know how to explain it but it's just 2000 skater boy if i have some inspo i find on like pinterest or something from disney channel like i'll just put it here but that's a skater boy sweater in my mind and every time i see them i will pick them up it's a little hand knit one and i'm assuming it's hand knit just because you can see where they like tied it off <laughs> but i think this was made with like love the colors are so cute. It's kind of like a Sherbert medley. You know what I'm talking about. Um, also found these little velour pants. I was hoping they were juicy. <laughs> I was hoping they were juicy. Um, they are not juicy. They are no boundaries. And they do have um, a little bleach stain right there. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of light. Um, and then they also have a little bedazzled heart on the pocket. Will I end up getting these? Maybe, maybe not. They're like mid-2000s, not vintage by any means. Um, but it could be a good little cheap sell. Um, we're getting down to the stuff that I found in the very beginning. These were like things that people left. Like the stuff I found when I first came in, before the first rotation, I was just going through what was already out. Um, we have this little champion, or yeah, champion <laughs> Harvard sweatshirt. Something about Ivy League sweatshirts in the fall. Academia season. You get the vibes. Um, I also found this, which was really surprising. Another one that's like cyber grunge tees, but it's an MMA elite, um, like thermal. Look how sick that is. I love how it's very monochrome. You can almost barely see the design, but it's so, so sick. That's going to be an easy sell right there. I also found a pair of overalls by No Boundaries, which is really sick. You guys know I love a good pair of overalls. So here they are, and they are full-length pants. Hannah Montana. Anyone? I think this is one of my favorite pieces I've found. The color, the contrast stitching, the corduroy, like, are you joking? It's a cute little crop jacket. I'm definitely not doing it justice right here, but trust me when I say it's cute, okay? Maybe if we try this side, is that better? I've got to find a wireless mic, goodness. I don't know if that's much better. Just trust me when, it's, when I say it's cute. Um, also picked up this like 2002 Winter Olympics little long sleeve. I am being so heavily watched right now, it's actually unreal. Also found these vintage um, like track pants by Abercrombie & Fitch. Love them all brands, you guys know that. Look at this. They are pretty beat up on the bottom. Some nice heel drag, which me personally, I don't mind because I'm short and I'm just gonna drag the heel anyway, so if it's already done for me, I feel less bad. <laughs> Um, but they're good like navy and red colorway and then the very last thing I found so far is this overall dress I think I'm gonna throw it back um, I just like needed something to put in the cart so I did I think overalls are cute in like a mom way but something about like an overall dress to me it screams maternity and not just like cool 90s mom um, and that's where I like draw the line because the thought of being pregnant freaks me out. So I definitely think I'm going to throw this back and the pair of Carhartts that I found earlier. Just went through a whole nother rotation and this is all I came out with. But you know what? Part of me can't even be mad. It's kind of iconic.
just came back from that rotation and came out with the most perfect winter sweater. I'm sorry, it is chunky, it is heavy, it is wool. Look at that. Can you see that? Pure wool stunner. I love this. It's so good. I also found this little Eddie Bauer like athletic department sweatshirt. Nothing crazy about that. I can go home now. Like, I have completed the day. This is the only thing I needed for real, for real. I found it. We can go. Look how beautiful. Like, this is the most fall jacket ever. The shirling does need some attention. It's pretty rough. Um, just, like, texture-wise, it's rough. And then it does have some stains that need to come out. But it's mainly just on this part, though. The leather actually looks pretty good. A little bit right here, but... That's really it. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited about this one. 70s goddess. I'm so mad. I saw this while I was digging in that last rotation. I got excited and I don't know why. Because what is this? It's like a sweater dress. That, when did Juicy even do that? Oh, no. Um, I also found this little... Nike jacket, nothing crazy. I mean, it's technically the, like late 90s, early 2000s. I wish it had like a big Nike swish on the back and it just doesn't. The only thing it has is uh, this one right here, but I'm never gonna be upset about a Nike windbreaker. So I'm in my car taking a break i needed some fresh air which sounds crazy sitting in a stuffy car um but it's raining outside and i just didn't want to be in the bins for a second um it's really bugging me that it's a dollar 89 so i'm like i swear it was not a dollar 89 i swear it wasn't last year and the last time i was at the bins and i made a video i put the little the pricing sign in my thumbnail and it was last February, so it's been like a year and a half since I last went to the bin. Um, February of 2023, it was $1.69 per pound. I come in here today, September 2024, $1.89. Oh my God. I can understand 10 cents, but 20 Oh my goodness, this is crazy. I knew I, knew I wasn't crazy. Though. I knew it was not a dollar eighty nine. That really threw me off. Dang, twenty six. I mean twenty six. Twenty cents more. I'm running out of hand sanitizer at the worst place possible. Wow. Now I'm really gonna have to go through my cart. Cause that just made me mad. I do not want to give them any more money. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure Buddy has ever looked scarier. Oh my goodness. I got excited because I was like, oh my gosh, I'm finally finding some girly pop pieces. Um, what a lie, because this is terrifying. Um, so we're not getting hurt. And then I also found these shorts, and I really just liked it for this tag. Big flirt. Focus. There we go. Ugh, I love this brand with my whole heart. I mean, the shorts are cute. There's, you know, nothing too special about them. Um, another little hit on the back. But this? This is not going to work. This is not going to work. Somebody was definitely doing, like, bleaching their hair in this. Um, so, both of those are staying. But, you know, thought I'd show you. <laughs> One hour later. I don't remember the last thing I said to you, but... Um, I think they're about done with new rotations. Uh, the people who look like they're regular here are leaving. So I feel like that's my cue to leave. So I'm about to go through my car right now, um, see what I'm taking, see what I'm leaving, because like I said, that extra 20 cents is a little crazy for me. Um, so I'm about to go through my car. I think I need to make like one or two TikToks before I leave to really document this whole experience, uh, really take advantage, because I'm a content creator. Um, and then I'll head out. And then I think we're just gonna head to Atlanta. 
and then I'll do a totally separate video thrift shopping, hopping around ATL because I don't remember the last time we've been to Atlanta to thrift because I've been so busy with my job. I haven't really had a free weekend to do that. Um, so I think we might do that in a separate video. So get excited for that. Um, very tired, very hungry. Oh no. Yeah, my phone's like, wrap it up, babe. We got things to do. So I'm gonna wrap it up uh, and I'll see you guys when we get to the car. <laughs> oh wait, I said we were done, but they're they're taking. Look at them! Look at them! You see them? They're taking out bins. I think we might have another row. <gasps> okay, wait, we're staying. We're staying. I'm gonna throw all this stuff in my cart real quick, cause cause it looks like. <coughs> oh goodness, this the thrift air is getting to me. It looks like we have another rotation. This is not a drill, but like. <laughs> One more. A little commotion for the jacket. This thing is just so scrumptious. Just when I thought I was done. That rotation was insane. Now, to actually go through this and see if there's anything worth keeping obviously this is like i can see this this is vintage eddie bauer wool chunky winter sweater obviously gotta come home the rest of it though we need to go through because i was just ooh, i had the goggles on i really don't want to put my headphones back in um so we're just gonna make this work i'm gonna try to scream a little bit but look at this sweater guys They just don't make them like they used to, I swear. This is beautiful, 100% wool. This is definitely gonna be at least five pounds by itself. I'm mean, not five pounds, five dollars by itself. I've heard basically at two dollars per pound here. Oh my gosh, look at these. These were the cutest little things, I'm not gonna get them. Um, but oh my, maybe I have to get them, look at them. Like little kid um, jeans, obviously not big enough for an adult or a teenager by that means. But like the little butterfly flare jeans, you're joking. Who made these? Faded Glory, I should have known. It was them or Arizona, like with the little slits in the knees, the flare. Okay, I might be getting those. This was the very first thing I saw. And I was trying to record that rotation like as I was digging. So I was like, honestly, all the rotations have been kind of like, I don't wanna say mid, but like nothing too crazy. The moment I saw this, I was like, oh, phone's gotta go. <laughs> Yo, this is like insane. Let's see if this windbreaker is okay. Dang, I was really hoping this windbreaker would also be like Polo Ralph Lauren or like Tommy or something like that. Something in the preppy like vintage scene, but it's not. I feel like I've seen so many like little, you're totally fine. I feel like I've seen so many little sorority girls walk around in this on like a rainy day with like micro shorts and their little air forces that have been trashed from the high heavens so this is definitely gonna stay but oh wait i might keep it now wait man tuck it i love a little embroidery i might be keeping this actually that kind of did something for me and it's got to be older school too because it's got the cotton lining you don't really see that on modern pieces. Huh. My thoughts were correct. The brand was just off. I'm keeping. Yeah. <laughs> These are so good too. These were definitely all donated by the same person. 
I picked a good bin to go to. And then I got like three or four pairs of jeans. I think they're all mall brands. Um, let's see here. Alright, this first pair is by Abercrombie & Fitch. Made in USA. I just love the fade and distressing on these and the built-in like heel dry. Another Abercrombie and Fitch pair. This one has a button fly though, which I love a button fly. You can kind of see it. There we go. Look at this tag, guys. Did I say guys? Look at this tag, guys. Oh, that is scrumptious. One more pair. Oh, this one doesn't have a yummy little back pouch. That's really unfortunate. Um, but it does have the button fine. Whitewash. These are all really good washes and like really, really good sizes too. I'm excited, wow. I hate none of these are like small enough to fit me because these would be like the perfect boyfriend jean and like no guy's baggy fit. Ooh. These are so good. My God. Okay. Look at my cart. Isn't she a beaut? My phone's on like 3%. I've recorded three different TikToks. It's time for me to go. Let's see how much this baby weighs. My guess. Mm. Mm. 28 pounds. people that is going to conclude officially this video um i ended up spending 64 dollars um which considering how massive these bags are and considering the goods i found i'm honestly i'm not mad i am disappointed grandma not mad at you <laughs> grandma hurt <laughs> please tell me you guys know where that's from grandma not mad grandma just hurt i'm hurt I am hurt. I am hurt. I am hurting. Or am I just on TikTok entirely too much? Um, but yeah, that little twenty cents that was that was sneaky. But it's okay. Um, I did still find some pretty good things. Not mad at today, but any means. Um, thirty one pounds. I think I said my guess was twenty eight. I was a little off. It was thirty one, but I was pretty close. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe it won't be another year and a half before I come back. Maybe this was my little treat, a little incentive from the thrift universe to come back. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I think we are gonna do another video tomorrow. Well, I'm gonna like record another one tomorrow. Different video of me just thrifting around Atlanta because I don't feel like going home and I already packed a suitcase and it just like makes sense. Like, let's keep the good vibes going. Anywho, like I said, it's raining. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed hanging out with you guys. This was specially requested. Someone did ask me to go back to the bins because it's been a minute and I didn't realize how long it had been. So shout out to you, whoever you were, who gave me the idea to come out here. Oh my God, my eyes are itchy. I need like the fattest shower with the hottest water. Anyway, I'm rambling. I love you guys so much. Subscribe if you want already. Let me know down below if you go to the bins, um, what your favorite item, I picked out today was what's the best item you've ever found at the Goodwill bins I think my best one I have found a penny lane and I have found a sound garden tea at this location um so those are pretty big for me personally let's just chat in the comments okay that's what I'm trying to get out of here I love you guys so much <laughs> subscribe like comment and I will see you guys next week da. love ya bye